So I just want to show you a simple sequence you can do to help maintain your overall body turn and pivot in the golf swing and make it a little bit easier to swing the golf club and move back and through the ball freely so you can hit solid shots. You know, as we get older, what happens? We tend to tighten up a little bit, right? And our swings get a little bit shorter. It seems to be harder to get the club back and it's harder to finish through the ball. And then contact suffers, speed suffers. We start losing a little bit of different distance. And then the other thing that happens, as soon as we start losing distance, we start swinging too much with our arms and we forget to use our bodies to hit the ball. And then we get even shorter, right? And the shots get even worse and it becomes that sort of negative circle that we don't want. But I'm gonna show you a simple routine here you can do. It doesn't take very long. It'll improve your overall mobility in terms of making it easier to pivot back and through the golf ball, maintain that our good swing back and through, make it a little bit easier to strike the golf ball. So first thing we wanna do is just warm up the sh uh, shoulder. So we just do some shoulder circles, very simple to do. Stand here, feet close together, arms out in front of me, thumbs up. We start with some small little circles, increasing till I get larger and then go backwards. Don't have to do too many of them just to get the shoulder joints moving. And you know, when I'm doing it, my arms are out at my side here, you know, roughly 45 degrees while I'm doing these. You know, just enough to get the shoulders going. Because many of us go through the day, right? We're hunched over, we're tight in the shoulders and we're stiff. That makes it hard to swing the golf club. And then we may be trying to increase the length of the swing, but if you're all tight up here, it's really, really hard. The next is just some thoracic turns with the club. I've got my five iron here. Take my golf stance, I got my left arm here, I'm holding on to the golf club with my hand, just extend my right arm down and I'm just going to do some back swing turns. And as, I, as I'm doing that, as I'm swinging back, I'm letting my right arm swing up high away from me. And I'm looking just down over the club to help me stay centered. And I might do about five of those and I'll get this great stretch in my rib cage and sides here and I'll get this feeling of this right arm swinging away from me on the back swing. If you're really, really tight, you may find that, you know what, you need to swivel your head around and follow your hand a little bit to help free up your turn like this. That's fine as well. Again, you're just trying to open up and go beyond your normal end range. We're not trying to overstretch or anything. We're just trying to move a little bit more than what we have been doing. And then I'll just do the other side, just like that. And you're gonna find one side is tighter than the other. Just do a few of those. It's important to do the opposite hand. So if you're a right hand player, it's important to do your lead side as well. And the left hand player, do your lead side as well. We want to be turning from both sides. That way it opens up the body, makes it a little bit easier to turn. And you're gonna find one side is gonna be tighter than the other. Next, I'm gonna just do some club turns. I'm gonna take the club, put one hand at the very end of the handle here, another one, at the club head, take my golf stance. I'm going to start with the club parallel to the ground and I'm just going to rotate back and forth. And I'm just going to keep my feet flat on the ground while I do this. And I'm just doing this turn from the ground up, rotating back and through. Having the hands apart, you know, makes it easier to rotate the trunk and you're going to get a little bit more trunk separation between upper and lower body and rotation back and through. Feels good on the back too, gets you moving and it's easy to do. I'm not too focused on keeping my head still or anything, I'm just kind of rotating around. Yeah, you know, you might do five of those back and forth, you know, just enough to get moving. Then I'll take the club, drop it down into my traditional setup position. I'm in my posture, club is dropped down and I'm just gonna turn back. And as I do that, you notice I'm not getting in here shallow like that. I'm trying to increase the length of the swing a little bit. I'm gonna feel a good stretch in my lead side here, open up that lead shoulder. Again, I'm just going to my comfortable end range. I'm not forcing it here and up. Lots of daylight between my trail side and my body. Feel those arms coming up. I'm gonna get a nice stretch through my rib cage, my shoulder area and up. And then I'm going to do the other side. Just doing the same thing. 
just like that. You can feel that on both sides. One side might be a little tighter than the other. Just do a few extra reps on that tight side. Next, I'm gonna do some hip turns. It's important to kind of get the pelvis opened up too because the movement of the pelvis affects length of backswing and also too coming through. And I, I need to turn enough on the backswing so I can get loaded up where I can get some separation between the upper and lower body and make a reasonable upper body turn so that I can move back into the lead side. But I want to warm up the hips now a little bit. Again, just going to hold the club here. You can use your five iron driver, whatever works for you. I'll flip that over here, get it on the club head. And I'm just going to try to move my hips. I'm not, I'm not going to move my upper body too much. I just want to be rotating my hips back and forth. Get the feeling for those hips to move just like that. Just from side to side, be active with your feet. Be engaged in the ground with your feet. You notice my knees are kind of working in, my ankles are working. I'm working from the insides of my feet. I've got lots of movement coming from the ground up and I'm just trying to twist my hips in place. And I'm trying not to move this too much. I'm trying to get that separation between upper and lower body. And this is good for the pelvis rotation. Now I'm gonna do a couple club swings. Take my grip, but I'm gonna hold it, split my hands apart, like I'm holding a hockey stick, for example. And I'm gonna get set and swing the club back. So by splitting my hands apart, I get the separation here. I don't pin my arms in behind to my side. I never wanna do that. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna be shortening up my swing and collapsing my arms toward my body. I want some width between my trail arm in my body so that I can keep the width in my golf swing. So up here and up. And I'm gonna feel a little bit of a stretch here in my lead shoulder. I just go to my comfortable end range so I can feel that stretch. And just hold it there for a bit. And you're gonna feel it. And I got this good daylight here. I'm not trying to pin that arm. Just like that. And hold it. If, you, if for some of you, if you find that a little bit hard to do, you can do it with your hands together. And what you do is you preset your wrist cock like that. So I can see the shaft is parallel to the ground. So I just move my wrist, set it, and I rotate to the top. Again, focusing on this daylight here and just getting this nice stretch here and just holding it. And then I do the opposite side here. Up to the top, feel that stretch again. I'm just going to hold it just like that and hold it. Again, you might do five on each side, do the tight side a little bit more. And it's important to just go to your comfortable end range because you're just trying to lengthen out your end range. That's all you want to do. And then from here, I'm going to do some pivot turns without the club. Again, so I'm just going to isolate the motion of the body. So first I'm just going to put my hands on my hips. This is really good for getting this forward rotation going for the finish position. I'm going to start here, hands on my hips. I'm going to push, push into my lead foot. And as I push into my lead foot, I want this left hip going back. I want my hips opening up and then rotating around to the finish position so that I'm facing the target. My hips are square to the target, my upper body is square to the target. I've got lots of weight into my lead heel here. I'm balanced on this left foot. I'm up on the toe of the trail foot. I'm comfortably balanced there. Just like that. And up. So as I push, I go onto this foot here, this lead, this lead knee will straighten as I rotate around. Now, if you've had a knee injury or you're a little bit tight, you, you may find that you're not able to go all the way around to a square position and, and put all your weight over here to finish. Go to your comfortable end range. As long as you're trying to work to your comfortable end range, you'll be helping yourself on the true swing. And you'll find as you go along, your, your end range will probably increase so that you can get to here. But again, just go to your end range and go as far as you can that's comfortable. I and mean, if you don't want to injure yourself, right? But we're trying to open up and get this feeling for rotating toward the target, posting into your lead side to swing through. That's very important for solid contact. And then again, I'm gonna do the trail side. So I'm, I'm right-handed. My natural action is this way. I'm gonna do some turns now into my 
other side, my right side, as if I was a left-handed golfer. Again, that's not quite as comfortable, but that's important for promoting mobility, symmetry on both sides of the body. And I'm coming around and through. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do some pivots with my arms over my shoulders. It's important to isolate the arms, so we're trying to train the body to turn and pivot. Because a lot of times when you start cutting off the backswing, we just kind of get used to that, right? We're kind of, well, I'm just gonna make a shorter swing and I'm not gonna turn very much. And then it gets very easy to get into that habit of not turning. Hands over my shoulders, rotate back, make that comfortable shoulder turn. I'm just gonna stretch, this, just a comfortable stretch, get my back to the target if I can, hold it, and then go back around to my finished position and hold it. So the whole idea by taking the hands and arms out of it, I'm training my body to rotate to swing the golf club here. Good shoulder stretch, boom, unwind into the finish. Back and through. And then do the opposite side, right? So here and through. Here and through. And then finally, once I've done that, I can make some practice swings. Take the club. I'm just gonna work on swinging back easily and hold it. I'm just kind of going to my comfortable end range and hold it and then swing through and hold it. So I'm emphasizing the turn going back, emphasizing the swing coming through. Back, hold it, through, hold it. Again, emphasizing the rotation. Now, for some of you that are a little bit extra tight and you're having trouble going back, you can pick up that lead foot on the back. So there's nothing wrong with that. So if I'm making a swing, when I go back, as I rotate back, I let my left knee go in and I, my heel come up. And again, that may frees up the pelvis rotation and can help lengthen the back swing for you. Just hold it there. And again, I'm not trying to pin the arm here. Getting some daylight here. And I'm going to my comfortable end range. And then the foot goes down. And then the body goes around. Then I can do a few practice swings back and through. And then you're ready to move to swing a golf club. This is something you can do at home on a regular basis. It's going to help improve your rotation, keep your swing simple with a good pivot, and help lengthen it out maintain that upper body rotation going back through and that swing through the ball. It's also an easy sequence you can do on the range as prior as a warm up. It doesn't take very long. It just prepares you to turn and maintains your mobility back and through. So work on that on a regular basis. A few times a week, you'll find your swing will be a lot easier and you'll make an easier turn going back and you'll start to get a good rotation back through the ball. You'll pick up some speed and you'll be consistent.